Now we're going to add a UV image map to our phone and we're going to take the background pictures we used and actually map them uh, onto the phone. So I'm going to go back to my Model 1 screen setup. I can use the same screen setup since I'm done with modeling. i um, use it now for putting my UV map on there. I'm going to change the window type to a UV image editor and I'm going to open an image and this time I'm going to use the single image that I first started with which has both the front and the side on one image. Now looking at the front of the phone here what I want to do is I want to take the picture of the front of the phone and I want to put that picture onto the phone here. So since we no longer need the background images I'm going to turn, them, turn that off so it's not to confuse us and uh, having this over here in a front view with the top part selected going to go into edit mode I'm going to adjust this so it's roughly the same size it's going to make my job a little easier and do a, a selection to select all on that and then I'm going to hit the U key and I'm going to get a UV calculation menu and I'm going to ask this to project from the view and uh, show you how that works. So what it did is it took a picture of that and it placed the wireframe over here. Now this wireframe over here, this is not a three-dimensional view, it's just a two-dimensional view and the U and the V's are like the longitude and latitude. So if you think of mapping and longitude and latitude, it's, it's telling it what quadrant of this image to put it on. So I just used a gesture there to grab. I can also use the G key, grab and um, scale. And I'm carefully grabbing and scaling, positioning this on here. and I'm going to go ahead and scale that top part a little bit. Okay, so that's positioned nicely on there. Now I'm going to object mode again here. I'd like to see that on my phone so I can change my view type to textured and now I can see that on the model of my phone. Now I have projected that from the view and because I selected the entire top part, it has also mapped that to the back side of my phone. So what I need to do now is I don't want it mapped to the back side of my phone. Go back into edit mode. I'm going to face select mode. Turn off the uh, transparency. And I'm going to just uh, select a couple of these faces right there and I'm going to do a B selection over here and a G and I'm going to grab those move them off of there don't really want them there and um, since I'm just going to make these red I'm just going to scale that down move them over okay well let's go ahead and do the bottom part select that with a right click tab into edit mode do an all select with the A key. Just positioning the phone over here so that you can see it. Get it roughly the same size. Doesn't have to be, but I'll show you what happens if it isn't. Well, let's see if it's very small and I go U project from view, I get a very small projection. You know, if I um, do it roughly the same size and I say project from view, it comes out roughly the same size over here. So that just helps me out. All right, let's see how that looks. Okay, again, I've got the same problem on the back side. We're just gonna clean that up by going into edit mode. And we're in face mode, so I'm going to select that, 
that and I'm going to G key over here and move that off the side and scale it down a little bit. Okay. Um, looks like I also could kind of fix that up down there a little bit. We're going to work on the sides. Uh, let's just leave that be right now. <clears throat> okay. Well, let's take care of uh, working on the sides on this. Um, I'm going to go into vertex mode, all select, and uh, just first select all of them. And then I'm going to go in the front view here, go into face mode, and I'm going to use the B and the middle mouse to draw a box right down the center, which should deselect all the center faces. And I do see a line continuing across there, which I don't think it got. So um, let me do this again. I'll do it in uh, wireframe mode so that it passes through B, and then a, a middle mouse press deselect all the center vertices. And you can see, I'm sorry, deselect all the center faces. So I've just got the right and the left sides. Go back in the side view. I'm going to go UV calculation project from view and then I'm going to have just the sides align that up scale it and scaling and adjusting as I go and I'm going to have to make a couple of adjustments because things aren't perfect. So uh, there's no reason I can't go in here and just move that slightly. It will stretch things just a tad, but again, we're not going for the perfect cell phone. We're just going for a good project here. So now I have those buttons. And uh, again, they're on this side too, but I don't have a view of the side of the phone. So we're just going to use that for right now. And up top here, this phone has some specular highlights and some blackening on the edge, so let's go ahead and select that. Tab into edit mode. Select all. Go on the front view. Let's see, I go into a go into wireframe view. And I'm going to use B and a middle mouse. Select right through there and get rid of the center faces. Do I have not not have any sides to my cylinder there? I don't think I have any sides to that cylinder. That is too bad. I'm going to have to fix that. See that one right there? I have no sides to that cylinder. That's no good. I'm going to fix that right now. I'm going to go into edit mode. On the vertex mode, all select B, and I'm going to just shift F, fill that. <clears throat> all select B, shift F, fill that, and I'm just going to let that be as it is right now. And now I'm going to go back here and do this again. Select all, and then I'm going to be select right through the middle, and you can see now I have sides to those little parts. So no, no catastrophe there. We just fix it as we go. And side view, UV project from view, and there it is. So I'll select that, scale that some. that lined up the way we want it. I have to rotate that slightly. Scale it slightly. And now let's take a look at it over here in the shaded, I'm sorry, in the textured draw type. Okay, and, and except for our uh, white backs and a couple of white edges now, we're uh, doing pretty well. 
So we're going to jump over to Photoshop and I'm going to, well in fact we'll probably do it in Blender. We're going to take a little time in Blender's image editor and uh, we'll, we'll do a little fixing, a little adjusting here and I'll show you how that works.